Right. Welcome to another video. Ooh, here we go. So let's come down a little bit so you can see. So I'm going to give you a very, very simple movement you can add to your warm up. So um, the hips is, is, is one thing that uh, gets neglected a lot. Just a, a quick, basic piece of anatomy. Um, the femur uh, sits in the acetabulum. That's here. It sits in the front of the hip. And it's a super, it's a very shallow joint, but it's super tight. Now, if we are not using that, uh, that joint, its full range of motion, it is a full 360 degree joint. It wants to move through its full range of motion. If we are not doing that, you're gonna lose it. Use it or lose it, guys. Use it or lose it. So a very simple one I'm gonna throw at you is a fire hydrant. Now, you've probably seen it a dozen times before, but you've probably never seen it done correctly. So, ooh, all we're gonna do is take that joint through its full range of motion in a quadruped position, all fours, we're going to take one at a time. Now, I don't want to see the lower back moving at all. It's all going to come from the hip. What we're going to do is let's pick, let's pick one side. Let's do 12 reps, okay? Let's do 12 reps. Pick a direction. So I'm going to go clockwise, start with. I'm going to do some big, some small. And like I say, it's all going to be in the hip. None of this, none of this as we're doing it. That's not it. That's not the movement. It's all going to come in the hip. So we're going to do 12. So, sorry, some big, some small. 12, I'm going clockwise, now I'm going to do 12 counterclockwise. Some big, some small. When you've done one side, guess what? You've got two legs, make sure you do the other side, and uh, that. Put it out there, shall we there, guys? Cheers.